Okay guys, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to make a DIY Cobra punching bag using the Killis Pro Spring and a standard small speed ball. To set up the speed ball, you need an adapter and I showed you how to use a plunger and a small cone to reinforce that plunger. Now go ahead and check out that video if you want to make that. Now guys, in the last couple of weeks, I've been working on producing a complete kit to make available through Culus.com for the top section that will include a genuine leather speed ball, a speed ball adapter made out of composite material, an arm made of composite material as well, and a special component that will allow you to put it inside the spring and make adjustments to the height within the spring, thus giving you the ability to adjust the speed all in a single kit. Now before I go to the manufacturer, with the design for any of these components. I've actually got a 3D printer and I've started printing the components so that I can test them for rigidity as well as flexibility in some cases making components out of flexible material. So all that's been tested and while I'm testing I've got some of these components that I like to give out for people who do have a 3D printer or know somebody who has a 3D printer so you can print them like this speedball adapter. Now when I say give out, what I mean is give out the 3D file that you can use to print this. So for those of you who've got friends with a 3D printer or you might have one yourself, in the description I've included a link to the file that you can use to print this exact adapter here. Now I've printed it in different materials including soft materials like TPU. These are sort of like rubbery materials. And I've made it exactly the right size to fit onto a three quarter inch PVC pipe. So you can just tape it. But there's also these holes that are included in the design. You can see there's a number of holes. And what they're meant to be for is on your PVC pipe, you can drill a hole and put a spring clip in there. And then when you put it inside the adapter, you can adjust the length of your arm. So a spring clip looks something like this. They're different types and they just go inside of your pipe. So you've got two holes on either side, suitable size to allow your spring clip to slot into those holes. Once it goes into the hole, it's a thing like this. You've probably seen it on different extendable poles and things like that. That then allows you to slot it into your adapter with these holes in there and the spring clip expands and goes into the hole that you want. So to shorten it, you use one of the top ones, and there we go. And that sits in there nice and firm. So now you've got an arm using a PVC pipe and this adapter that you can print in 3D. Now one of the things I've been testing recently is an adapter that I want to make to allow the spring to screw onto it, just like that, and then screw onto a three quarter inch pipe so that you don't need to use butterfly hose clamps. Now this one I've just printed last night and I've printed it with just the standard 3D printer material, the PLA. It's quite brittle so I don't expect it's going to hold. The sort of material that will likely hold is like a nylon or polycarbonate infused with maybe carbon fiber for extra toughness. But it's been quite fun to try out all this stuff so I'm going to see how this goes and show you guys. It's probably going to snap straight away. Let's check it out. I'm waiting for it to snap. It's not snapping. Well, I'm really surprised. Well, guys, I'm super surprised that he hasn't snapped. I'm going to give it a bit of more punishment and see what happens. I'm expecting it to fall out any minute now. Wow, it's holding, I can't believe it. Well, there you go guys. I might make that available as well for you to be able to 3D print it. So that'll be in the description. Now guys, stick around. Next week, more to come. Make sure you subscribe, tick the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.